they have swap for the black hole. Yeah. It's not like a uncountered kind of Enigma yeah. game. It's not the perfect Enigma game. This might be enough to drive back PSG LGD. I mean, up top, Draw Ranger is just going to be able to get those two bounty runes. So VP going to try and assert dominance in these early stages. Pasha walking forward as well, but they're going to throw out that magic missile right from the get go, bringing him fairly low, but the two person torn from Roger, keeping them back and going to be able to secure that bounty rune. Now, after all that, they actually get it. So. Looks like Drow, though, was able to win the battle up top, so Ami will secure top and bottom, but chasing Roger. Good bit of damage coming through, and the last decay from X Nova takes the kill on the board early. And so far in the mid lane and down bottom as well, actually, Malifus. Okay, there's action happening all over the place. Trying to chase this guy down here. They do manage to find the Torrent, and Chalice punches. He's going to go down as well. We saw rotation through the mid lane by the Kunkka. He is still sitting over by that bounty rune and is now going to try and rotate up towards X Nova, who decides to drop the tombstone onto Ramses. Only level four. Well, they have reached level six for Ame. And as they bring in the rest of them, it looks like they're just going to try and farm up this tomb to actually get the nightmare onto one. X Nova kind of in no man's land. It's a three man decay, though. And as they chase forward for more, they're able to find that torrent, get the kill, and Ramsey's is able to walk away as well. Yeah, there's seven seconds on the next nightmare. Uh, they want Ame here as well. There's no rotations coming. Oh, good gust there, but might be in a little bit of trouble now as they chase him down further. The toss forward, they throw out the tree, every dang thing, and instead they're actually going to turn now onto no one. FY trying to chase him down. They pop a regen room, and then the jump in coming oh, from maybe. No. He wants to find him, able to get the kill, and now chase for more. He's going to have so much mana here in just a second. They spot out Ramses, but instead they're going to turn to Solo, dodging everything. He can't even break sap him as they take down Solo as well. Oh, he has at least lost the regen room. But the rotation coming pretty soon. They have a gust available as well as a magic missile. And actually, it's going to go for the slow right at the start. The DD's there, taking down Tomnus very low HP, but they are able to kill off no one. And now looking for Roger as well. It just happens so quick. It's going to be pretty quick, though. It's Ame. Might be found here. But look at how well he's farming. Like, earlier, it was farming aggressively, and we'll see if Roger can get into range to find him with those three points in X. It's a really good initiation range. The he Gust does silence. end up hitting, but this still is going to connect with the boat, and now they're TPing in the rest of the heroes, but Drow's already dead. Chalice. Bold as brass, just walking forward, but they're going to Nightmare and run away. Or are they sandwiched? FY? Does have a swap available. It's going to swap back in the Bane, and Magic Missile out as well. They do not have any boat any further forward, but now the chase, they have the Reaper Scythe going in. They want to try and force this fight, it looks like. Oh, the PSG LG have they overextended. Ramsey is showing up with the familiars, and they're able to take a couple kills. Nightmare. And again, the chase down. They have that Wobbling Ripper for the extra armor, too. They've got everything they need. They throw it on the Midnight Pulse. He's just dead. A three-hit gust, but now there's, there's another Black there. Hole. They're slowly going forward for more, and LTD are willingly walking into this. There's the chat spam following in the wise words of Gabe. And as far as the way that the fights want to start for Virtus Pro at this point in the game, is it only through the Kunkka? Is there anywhere else that you can make it happen? Oh, well, there's one starting now. All right, down bottom. They try and find a pickoff there. Fly just in no man's land. I think, uh, oh man, chase down again. It's team, they're always alone. What is happening right now? They chase forward for him, able to get it. The net is down as well on X Nova. He is surrounded by all of VP. There's a ton of zombies, but the one that matters is dead. And VP now, with these items, are going to start their push. Pasha in the area. He has his black hole. All right, they're just going to get him from over on the side of the trees. And in, in no man's land yet again, Thomas the Malik is able to take it down. And now they're chasing after no storm. Oh, here. the blink. No one with the reactions able to get away. There was a sentry ward down, but now the boat coming in as well. They swap in one, trying to keep them alive. The Reaper sight not enough because of the boat buff. And now seeing if they can kill off FY. The wave tears through as well. No one trying to run. He tosses them over to his ally. Pasha, they find themselves another kill. Ramsey's with a double. And can they take down X Nova as well? And it looks like it'll be a piece of cake. Pull him down, a couple free hits for Solo for the rest of the squad joins in, and that's a triple kill for Ramses. Down to about half HP, looking for an initiation. Solo might realize what's happening. They're going to throw in the torrent. They see everybody. The boat, it might only connect onto one, but is it going to be enough? This looks bad. There's no Enigma. They are not going to be able to contest. So a big win there for LGD. Securing themselves the runes. There is going to be an X. Samus showing up out of this fight and oh a good electric vortex able to create a little bit of space they're going to swap back up but they do burn through that aegis the soul assumption making it happen and pacha so tanky the black hole lands on it 
three, and maybe coming back in. Can they turn this back around, though? They're already losing so many on VP, but they got the Fiend's Grip. They're able to take down the Storm Spirit through the ages the second time through. Zombies are absolutely everywhere on the map, but no one blinks in trying to take down FY, and there's going to be the toss. There's going to be the kill. They buy back on the Undying as Solos continue to just be hampered in by all of these undead beans chasing him out. But Chalice, has he gone too far now as well? There's going to be another toss. The Ghost Shroud keeping him alive. They bring down Solo on the side. Oh, Ramsey's just barely out of mana there. Where are we going to stand to try and break the smoke? It's Solo that's going to run into FY right at the start. They do get a swap there. Oh, Nightmares a... himself realizing, I don't want to be here anymore. And now the turn on to maybe Reaper Scythe onto one. The boat's on the It's on the two, but maybe does get out for the moment. Can they find anything else here? LGD hungry for kills and Chalice chasing with all of these zombies around. They're going to try and escape. Pasha realizing everybody else has abandoned Chalice. And they've also got the sleepover on the side for the Undying, so they're going to find the kill onto the Necropose. Chase for more. They want to kill no one, but they don't have vision. They can't find him even with the Remnant. And Ex Nova still living here. Ame being chased down as well. One by one, VP pull them down and continue to assert dominance here in this game. Number one upper bracket, Ex Nova, no chance. Marvelous team fighting coming up from Redis Pro right now. That Oh, it throws out the wave of terror, gets the vision, and VP, that's enough to scare him off. At least for the moment, but they find Ame. There's a good gust onto several. Pasha looking for the black hole. He gets it onto two. Chalice trying to save his allies, if at all possible. The boat buff is going to be there, and the ship lands on X Nova, finding the kill. They're calling out their chances. FY also going to be ran after. VP are feeling good, and why not? Yeah. And once again, where's maybe? Can't do anything. 7,000 gold lead. We still do have about uh, X Nova seconds is, uh, left on the Aegis, but yeah. He looked like a tombstone, basically. I think he took less hits than tombstone, actually. Oh, no. That doesn't feel good. They still have the Aegis, too. Like, VP are just going to be able to continue to run at them. They have the Spear Vessel down. Chalice not going to be able to get the regen. They do swap in one. So FY able to save his core for the moment. That's what you need to do. But with the DD there on no one, these towers are just paper. He has the armor as well from the Ogre Frost Mage, just helping out his team when necessary during these fights. Maybe a bit of an engagement coming through here. Ame revealing himself. They are still smoked up on the high ground. The Remnant is down as well. VP, they're walking right into all the vision in the world and maybe going right for the initiation as well. Oh, oh, oh it's on to nothing. Pasha can't make it happen, and now LGD potentially has an opening here. No one. There's going to be the Avatar's play. They drop down the boat as well. It's still looking okay for VP. They're trying to bring down one. Can they kill him off in time? FY is going to die. They're buying back onto immediately back into this fight, but they have the X on to Ame. The tombstone is up on the high ground and maybe trying to create some chaos. He's doing a good bit of work, but down to very low HP. They're tearing him apart. Uh, VP is starting to die. They kill off yet another chalice, making it work. Can they kill off silence for the visage? Ramsey is going to die. We're dead forever! Maybe found his moment. He baited out that black hole flawlessly. And then the team turned. The buybacks had to be spent, but it's so worth it at this point. That's going to be a 3,500 gold swing and an Aghanim's Drow that gets another 1,700 gold added on top. They march straight down that mid lane for the tower. And they're in position for this early Roche spawn. This is huge. A uh, big turnaround for them. And oh my god, oh, he's, he's feeling it now. Up. Wanting to find a kill here onto the Kunkka. They force out the buyback from the Enigma. What is he going to do? They have the boat, though. There's going to be the buff to keep him alive. But Nova shows up as well. And they've got more than enough damage to secure that. Jim. Never doubt Dota Plus. That's what I'm learning here. They don't here. have buyback, Trent. They are losing this tier 3 tower. The only heroes alive are the Enigma and the Bane, and they're calling for the tier 4 towers. PSG, LGD, they smell blood, and they're coming hunting. GG is called. No one. Are you kidding me? No one. It was not there, and LGD sees their moment. One fight. One fight was all it took for them. Maybe just so perfect after such a difficult game, struggling over and over. Hey, some of was the best case, right? Like, he always gets really fat. He gets really farmed. He farm prioritizes pretty heavily on it. Yeah. A lot of time being taken over this final one. On Alchemist. Uh, okay. Ah. okay. To solo about Rake King. I was just like, when do you pick it into a never? Wait a minute, though. They found Ame right at the start, but there's a lot of bugs. There is going to be Ron oh, no. from the rest of his team, and all alone, the King is taken down.
first blood. Wow. Well, can put the hurt too on a little bit. Uh, so yeah, things to watch There's out. There's definitely kill threat on Solo here. He's playing very aggressively. And the bugs are on him now. The shards, they go out. They don't last all that long, but with the nightmare, the runaway, they're getting the body blocks in Solo. Once this nightmare dissipates, he's going to have another round of Sakuchi and FY saying, come and fight me. I want to battle with you, man. And they are going to deny it. Deny a hit on the <laughs> chalice. He finds the kill. It really worked that well with the snowball on him, and instead they're going to turn the damage back onto Ramsey's. The minus armor and the punches, they go out another nightmare, but trade it in over Chalice, also in the area. But the crit comes from Ramsey's, get off me! Well, the crit wasn't very effective on the bug on him, but on the bug skittering around, much better. Is Roger living? Oh, yeah, he's going to TP away, and the punch! He got him! That's Nova! Not giving up on the play. Straight into the blink on the Alchemist to try and be active with that uh, cooldown talent. That's why on the snowball onto Solo needs to be careful. The Fairy Fire's there. They bring in another, and this might be some more damage. The Nightmare of the Punches. FY is dead. They traded over the Nightmare, actually. Now Solo able to retreat. Chalice still chasing. Samus has Laguna Blade. This should be a very easy pickup for them. But they lost Solo and stuck around for too long. But he's just going to head off, farm out the jungle. This is what the Alchemist wants to do. And we'll see if any heroes try to rotate to take over mid. It looks like, though, FY is going to come and contest his farm in the jungle here. This is not what an Alchemist wants, and Somnus has a haste as well. They spot out no one in trouble here as he does have his stun. Laguna Blade, everything thrown out. He turns the stun back around. Ramsey shows up now, throws out the Wraith Fire Blast. They have the X as well with the follow-up torrent. This might end up being a death maybe. Now Skelly's finisher off there, and well, the Snowball also coming in, it sounds like. Over towards the side, they find themselves a catch here onto the Kunkka. He's so far behind, he's going to lose more in. This is hard on a strength roamer like this. It's now eight stolen for X Nova. Oh no! The Nightmare Dodge. Is it going to keep him alive? Or are they going to be able to find the kill, rather? This Invis rune. They're turning it back around. Solo may be in trouble. They try and smoke to run away, but the crit is there. Ramsey's able to turn this one. Chaos in the jungle as they're going to be able to find themselves solo. And FY just trying to run away, but there is going to be an X. And it looks like they're going to be able to take down FY's Maybe, husk. though. Also caught that at the Roche Pit possibly? trying to run. I mean, he's, he's still getting away from them for the moment. The punches are coming. FY making a lot of space. And eventually the snowball continuing to make sense. Yeah. Are you kidding me? FY surely not. All right, yeah, he gets brought down to the end. Ooh. Still trying to push a little bit. It looks like Roger is going to be able to get this ring. But there uh, is a Sentry Ward. And now with Moonlight top. Shadow wearing off, Roger going to be ran at by this Tusk. There's also a Nightmare on the other side on the Terra Blade. I'm sure if X Nova had a TP, he would be here right now to steal this, but unfortunately he doesn't have one. Tor comes out. They also find another kill onto Pasha's. Chalice is going to secure this finish onto Roger. He's still trying to run away. Sakuchi to chase. And the punch. And they killed Tasha way deep. And uh, he'll have the Blink Dagger now, so probably a smoke play coming here. In fact, it'll just be a Moonlight Shadow, but it's all around this Weaver. They see Ame as well, able to find him. The Global comes out in response to that. Boat's still going to hit, but I don't know if they have the follow-up now. With the Moonlight Shadow Runaway, LGD, limited vision in this area. The Snowball save for the moment, away from Ramsey's, and now chasing forward for more. Somnus is here as well. Chalice doing a good bit of damage. He might end up being brought down. They weren't able to find a kill there on the Wraith King. Solo making space for the rest of his cores to find themselves kills. And it's a bane for a Weaver. You take that every day of the week. Yeah, Ramsey's... Oh, wait, Ramsey's... Oh, uh -oh. He... Well, that's just the ulti, but it, yeah. it hurts a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't feel that good. For example, to kill him a second time. And they're going to smoke right under another ward here from LGD. They find the stun. The boat's going to be there as well. The long duration silence, it's not going to connect. And now the secondary stun hits onto the Alchemist. They're trying to focus down no one. He is starting to drop, but there's the Moonlight Shadow. They have double dust for double the kill. Arrow going to miss. What an incredible game of vision from PSG LGD. It seems like every single time they can just go in on that bottom lane because the Observer Ward is spamming up and making smoking. You talk about the vision, the sentry's down. And it looks like they just got all four bounty runes here to the side of LGD. Clinical. That, you definitely need that as an elk team. And no one wants to find the stun here on the Chalice. Time lapse. There is still an X that's going to catch him. The global is going to be there. The boat is still going to connect at the end of it. So they find themselves a kill on no one. That's the beginning. Yes, very good to take down Chalice like that and give no one a little bit of gold. So keep those up. They want to keep the ball rolling. They're moving through. Solo has the Nightmare. He finds the correct one. 
This time we have the arrow, but he stops oh, it. Oh, the trade over with the Manta. Great play, and the snowball save as well. Following for more. Roger is going to die here, it looks like, as they do have the vision to take him down. X Nova running away. The Yule to dodge still lands to hit there onto X Nova, who is going to fall. Well, going to blade out onto no one. Still jumping out of there. They can't get the sun up. He yes. still does have the Aegis. Sola found that big kill with the Fiend's Grip. Now coming back up, they will miss with the arrow, and they're chasing forward. They have the snowball. Fly looking for that opening. It's just going to walrus punch solo there. And the light strike ray going to connect. Now, can they find any more uh, to be able to fight against the pressure that's coming? And you see this right here. How many feeling like comfortable pressing oh, this, this far forward while well, the smoke is going no on? One. And they're looking for him. Find him immediately. There's going to be the Yule Scepter. Can they follow it up? Snowball, walrus punch. They have the spirit vessel. He's not regening. He's dying. Even throw the ulti to secure, but Pasha still rotates in here. He's all alone. Is he really trying to take this? They actually might be able to make this work, though. Uh, the silence is going to be there as well. Pasha's dead from Samus as well. They buy back on the Marana. X Nova chasing forward on no HP, but FY is going to be there as well. And there's the Laguna Blade onto the Kunkka. Does not even get to cast his ship as Ramsey is also being ran at LGD. What are you doing? You're just tearing at him. They're going for the armor toggle, but it's not enough. They take down the bottom tier three tower. Ame can came so much space, they actually might be able to kill off this terribly, but oh, is but it the going to get it's combo. Combo. They've got it, no one in trouble, it's dead yet again! LGD running over the corpses of Virtus Pro! I think, uh... A huge win right here as they are taking down the first set of barracks 25 minutes into this game. 13,000 gold lead for LGD. None on at all any of the heroes for Virtus Pro. Roger, the only one that's even close. And the arrow's gonna go out. It's gonna connect on Illusion. Ramsey's now they in. know. There's the Yule Scepter lift up. They do have a Global Stone if they want to use it. Possibly it's gonna be dropped down, but they have the Aegis. It's on the Terraboy. Chasing for more. They bring down X Nova low, but he's still not dead. He does finally fall. Can they kill off Roger? It is gonna happen. And now can they chase for any more? Ramsey's still diving into this one. He goes for the snowball. There's going to be a Fiend's Grip onto the Terror Blade, trying to kill him off. The Blade Mouth's still going for Ramsey's as they lay into him. And now uh, there's the Reflection coming out as well. They do bring him down one time, but it comes at the cost of the Wraith King's first life as well. Back up, and he's just all on his own. The team is abandoning Ramsey's and trying to arm Otago's way out of this. It's not going to happen. He does take down Chalice. Not a bad kill there. Solo also being killed off as well, though. And three dead. That's the Aegis down. Yeah, and you can see, again, very disciplined play here from PSG LGD. They don't chase at all, even though they have some pretty high mobility. Oh, there's going to be the stun going out again. Locked for the moment. They still are tearing into the tower. Solo with nowhere really left to go, and he's going to get punched to death. Ame striking forward and asserting dominance over the captain of Virtus Pro who bought back so they don't have this Bane in the next fight. And it might not even be a fight, to be honest, the way that this is going. LGD just walking over them. No one trying to get it back with the Shiva's guard. Slow down this pressure that's coming. But this looks like it's going to be the second set of racks. And GG is called. Eventually, LGD stop over. That was an emphatic victory from LGD. They never really looked behind. They saw every move coming from Virtus Pro. I think they knew what Virtus Pro were doing before Virtus Pro did. Like, they saw everything. All of these wars across the entire map. Sentries laid down, Moonlight Shadows thwarted constantly. And Ame was given an entire map to Farmers Terribly. And, you know, again, you talked about it so many times during the game, but it can't be overstated how much X Nova played that vision advantage that they were able to achieve.